What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video on the 335i. So today guys, before we do any of the maintenance, your boy wants to install the tune. Why did you want to install the tune? I don't know, but your boy want to install the tune. I love looking inside my engine bay and looking about what kind of stuff I have in the engine bay. And I thought about it. I thought about it a lot, but the valve cover gas is going to take some time. So before I actually get to that, I do want to show off this tune that Burger Tuny sent out to me. Shout out to you guys. The reason why I'm actually going to be installing this before I actually, you know, do all this other stuff and things like that, because the first thing I want to install really badly. Second thing, I don't want to keep burger tuning waiting on sending me out this product. I want to make this video for them. And third thing, it's actually carb certified. So I won't get any trouble. I don't have to uninstall it, even though it's only a 30 second uninstall and 30 second install um, for smog. I can just leave this in and you know, I can go smog. It doesn't really make a difference. So I heard that this, uh, the JB Plus will give a lot of power to the car. Not like crazy amount of power, but a lot more than usual. I'll show you guys the dyno sheets right here right now. But yeah, anyways, I just want to go ahead and install this thing. I'm really excited about it. I want to make a video on it. I'm probably even going to drive the car, mainly because a valve cover leak just means you're, you're leaking oil. Um, I'm, not le I'm not leaking that crazy amount, so it's fine with me leaking a little bit of oil, smoking a little bit. It's whatever. Whatever to make this video because it's, I, I really want to thank them so much for sending me out this thing. I haven't even got the car on the road. And they're already sending me some crazy stuff. They're the same company that sent me out the intakes and the cow filters. They're the ones that are making my engine bay look beautiful. So I don't want to delay them anymore. I'm going to be making this video. And if I have to sacrifice, you know, half a quart of oil, so be it. So let's go ahead and install this bad boy. Yeah, look at, look at all this stuff. I don't know if I should put this on my trim, JB4, when I actually get the JB4. I think it looks dope. We got the tune, we got the decals. As you guys know, I'll put the decals in the back. Let me show you guys that real quick. So yeah, just wanna shout out Burger Tuning once again, Keys Motorsports for this amazing M Sport bumper. Looks amazing. And of course, the list of guys who supported the channel with parts and these two guys for the big generous donations. I ended up making their names a whole lot bigger by accident, but I think I might leave it there because those are the people who donated um, big. So I really appreciate that. I also still have to put Erlon's brother on here. I just don't know his Instagram at the moment, but he sent me out the steering wheel. So still have a couple more people to finalize the back of the car. But yeah, this baby is coming together. Let's go ahead and pop up in the hood and install this tune. I think I need to install it um, right where the intake is. I heard it's only like a 30 second install. Alright guys, pop in the hood. Again, I, I'm pretty sure it's fairly easy. Well, your boy is going to be doing a little bit of research and I'll get back to you guys in a few seconds. Uh, to install the, the JB Plus, you do have to get underneath the intake boot. I mean, you can probably reach, disconnect, and plug it in without actually having to remove the, the cone, but I'm going to remove the cone for the sake of the video, show you guys where exactly I plug it in and how easy it is. Um, but yeah, here's so far my engine bay is looking from Burger Tuning's cowl filters, Burger Tuning's uh, intake and I'm going to be taking off that intake right there to go underneath and plug in the JB Plus. And this one already has the CARB certification. If you did not get yours, they do have the sticker on their side as well, so it will pass smog. Alright guys, so after moving the intake, you can see the sensor right there. I'm going to go ahead and flash my light at it. Um, the sensor is upside down, so you can see the cable sticking out of it. It's that part, that piece right there. You just go ahead and disconnect the sensor. And then literally just plug that in between the sensor and you're good to go. It's that easy. I'm going to go ahead and plug it up and show you guys how it looks. Alright guys, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the sensor is right there. As you guys can see, it's coming out. kind of looks like this sensor right here when you pull it out. Um, so the sensor is pulled out now. I'm just going to go ahead and put the JB Plus 2 in between. And that there, that's all there is to it. Alright guys, at this point, it's in there. You guys can see the carb sticker down there, that little white piece of paper down there. That's the JB4 Plus tune. Uh, it's in there. I mean the JB plus two and it's in there, but uh, I don't know if you guys can visually see it That's why I took a picture right here. That's kind of how it looks when it's connected to the sensor um, So yeah, you just pretty much plug it into that and then you plug it into the car And that's just like a little adapter put in, in between so that's all there is to it So I'm gonna go ahead and install back the intake and then uh, close the engine bay and start up the car um, And yeah, just like that guys it is installed pretty easy filters are there the intakes are there and the tune is down there. Nothing crazy, still looks everything's fine. Let's go ahead and start up the car and uh, take it out for a little drive. All right guys, so we are in the car for the first time um, since we put in the intakes and since we put in the tune. So I actually haven't taken it on a drive since we put in the intakes and tune. So this is a little bit new. I'm only taking the car off for a small drive right around the corner. We're not doing anything special. I don't want to get in any trouble. Um, cause as you guys know, I don't have the pink slip and I don't really feel like explaining to the cops, you know, what, what, why I'm driving right now. Oh, that's great. God love folding mirrors. Ooh, German engineering. Oh shit. Oh, I thought your car was right behind me. I, I would have ate your entire car by now. So we're just going to go out and go ahead and go around the block. I don't have any gas right now in the car. So, uh, just gonna, just gonna have some fun, you know, see, uh, how this thing pulls. Did you hear that? I don't know if that's normal, but... Dude, 
Dude, I'm barely, I'm feathering the gas. Did you hear that? Wait, did you change the valve cover gas yet? No. I haven't changed the valve cover yet, but. <laughs> Do you hear the turbo sound? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my, I don't, even, I don't even have a blow off valve, and I'm hearing the turbo. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but. Dude, it, I'm literally on first gear and it's pulling so hard. Oh my god. No, and it starts smoking. You're like, oh, what do we do wrong? Yeah, it was so smooth and it pulled, and you could just hear the turbo swoosh in every. Let me go ahead and just run on the windows real quick. As you guys can see, this car isn't really even like road worthy yet, but. It's so much more fun than my 330i, and it's definitely worth every single penny I've put in, and you guys also support put into this build. So shout out to all you guys who supported this channel by you know purchasing the decals and sending donations and all that stuff, because this this car is coming together because of you guys. I love oh, y'all. Smells really bad, dude. Yeah, let's go ahead and check the the, the engine bay now. It's pretty much normal shit. Um, the valve cover is leaking. I'll show you guys right here. Uh, it's probably leaking from the back. Regardless, let's just go ahead and uh, turn this off. Guys, it's still smoking. Like, I don't know if y'all see that. But yeah, it is still smoking. Like I said, guys, I did it for you all. It's not my fault. I'm not stupid. I am stupid, actually. But yeah, it is smoke a little bit. I'm burning a little bit of oil because it is um, leaky from the valve cover. I really don't care. I'm gonna be doing the valve cover shortly. As you guys know, it's right here. And your boy is already on top of his maintenance. He got his spark plugs as well. So I'm on top of the game, guys. Don't worry. Um, so I just did these few pulls to enjoy the car with the new intakes and to enjoy the car with the new tune. Honestly, it feels like a whole different car. For those of you guys who said do not get, do not get the 335 because it's gonna be a lot like your 330, you guys are totally wrong. These cars may look the same from the outside, but are completely two different monsters from the inside. So, love the car to death. If you guys are enjoying these type of content and you guys want to support the channel, also just make sure you guys check out Burger Tuning down below because they are helping out with this build so much by sending out all these different kinds of products to put on this car. They are turning into the beast what it is today, as well as you guys. If you guys can just check them out, that'll mean the world. And if you guys could just do me a favor and also smash that like button, that'd be amazing. So I can keep these series going, especially college starting up. I appreciate sure in like the next day or two. So give me that motivation to keep uploading every other day for y'all. So without further ado, peace out. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. She got me saying, Yalla, baby. I need you to see me. With the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Y'all love, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know.